Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the President of the Friendly Republic of Serbia, Alexander Vucic. The Serbian President expressed his sincere condolences on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Serbian President for his kind sentiments, wishing him health and prosperity. His Majesty also expressed his sincere condolences on the demise of the head of the Serbian Orthodox Church, Patriarch Irini. The two sides also discussed the deep-rooted brotherly bilateral relations and means of bolstering them at all levels. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of the Republic of Korea and the Republic of India. The ambassador of the Republic of Korea, Hai Kwan Tong, arrived at Al Sakhir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol, and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King, and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of the Republic of India, Piyush Srivastava, arrived at Al Sakhir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol, and an official ceremony was held for him. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the ambassador of the Republic of India and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. His Majesty exchanged with the new ambassador's welcoming speeches on the occasion, hailing the relations between Bahrain and their brotherly and friendly countries and their progress in all fields, wishing the ambassadors success in their diplomatic duties of enhancing cooperation with the kingdom. The ambassadors conveyed the greetings of their country's leaders and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty and of further progress and prosperity to the kingdom, commending the ties between their countries and Bahrain. Also present were the personal representative of His Majesty the King, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, the Minister of the Royal Court, the Foreign Affairs Minister and the Royal Protocols Chief.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace, Member of the Council of Representatives and Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Abdul Rahman Al Asumi. To greet His Majesty upon his election as Speaker of the Arab Parliament, His Majesty the King hailed the role of the Arab Parliament in defending the Arab nation's causes in international parliamentary forums, strengthening the march of joint Arab action and enhancing cooperation between Arab and world nations. His Majesty congratulated Al Asumi on his appointment, which reflects the competences and experiences of the people of Bahrain to hold various positions and responsibilities at the Arab and international levels, noting his efforts in serving Bahraini and Arab parliamentary work in various international forums, wishing him success in his duties. His Majesty the King also expressed pride and appreciation in the honoring and supportive stances of the Arab parliament towards Bahrain. For his part, Al Asumi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and for Bahrain's support of joint Arab parliamentary work, affirming his keenness to enhance the Arab Parliament's role in supporting of the Arab nation's causes. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, who presented to His Majesty an IS captured in Bahrain, gifted by the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa to His Majesty the King. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the BDF Commander in Chief, expressing his admiration of the IS. His Majesty emphasized the importance of maintaining the hobby of Falcon as an integral part of the Bahraini tradition and cultural heritage which has been passed down for generations. He affirmed that this hobby has been receiving the keen interest of the people of Bahrain throughout history. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace Royal Tanks Commander Major General Roger Abdullah Al Nuaimi, where he presented His Majesty with a gift marking the 50th anniversary of the Royal Tanks. His Majesty the King hailed the pioneering achievements of the Royal Tanks since its establishment and the development of the BDF throughout its national march. His Majesty asked Major General Al Nuaimi to convey his greetings to all Royal Tanks members expressing his appreciation to their national efforts and noting their competence and high morale that reflects their readiness to protect the homeland and preserve its gains and the security of its citizens. His Majesty wished them continued success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa held a remote meeting with the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to Bahrain, Roderick Drummond. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the long standing and historic ties shared by Bahrain and the UK, noting the importance of reinforcing bilateral partnerships across various sectors to benefit the people of both kingdoms. Regional and international topics of common interest were also discussed during. During the meeting. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia Zainal, praised the speech of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which he made at the beginning of the Cabinet session, which called for bolstering cooperation with the Legislative Authority to realize the aspirations of the people and continue to implement and develop the government's programs and projects. She affirmed that the speech of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince reflects a wise vision that calls for bolstering the march of cooperation, development and national action under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Zainal emphasized the Council's keenness on supporting the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince through constructive cooperation with the government. The Representatives Council held its weekly session under the chairmanship of its Speaker Fawzia Zainal. She praised the speech of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which called for bolstering cooperation with the Legislative Authority to realize the aspirations of the people and continue to implement and develop the government's programs and projects with a wise foreign policy based on deep-rooted fraternal relations with brotherly countries.
The Council reviewed the government's replies concerning the parliamentary questions. It also discussed the reports of several committees concerning draft laws and proposals. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its 10th ordinary session remotely under the chairmanship of its president, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The council recalled the efforts of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and his honorable stances in serving His Majesty the King as well as the kingdom and its people. The council congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for earning the trust of His Majesty the King and being appointed Prime Minister. In this regard, the Council praised the speech of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, in which he defined the priorities and interests of the government for the upcoming phase to continue the Kingdom's development march. The Council also valued the leading role of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in supporting the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations. The Council then looked into the topics listed in its agenda, the forefront of which is the reopening of mosques and the gradual return of congregational prayer. The Council expressed relief with the high level of awareness and commitment by the Kingdom's citizens and residents over the last exceptional period. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Nuaimi, visited one of the many training programs targeting specialists of the ministry's school health department, along with members of the health and safety committees in all public schools, to inform them of the latest developments in the health situation and provide them with the information and skills necessary to enhance health, safety, and prevention aspects in their schools. The Ministry of Education continues its efforts to ensure the sustainability of education in all its public and private educational institutions while taking the necessary measures to create a safe educational environment that provides the required health precautions to combat the corona pandemic. The minister affirmed that the continued provision of educational service for all is at the forefront of the ministry's priorities, taking into consideration comprehensive health precautions and their accurate and orderly implementation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met with the Minister of External Affairs of India, Dr. Subramaniam Jaishankar, who is on an official visit to the Kingdom. Dr. Al Zayani hailed the deep rooted ties between Bahrain and India, which are based on mutual respect and joint coordination. He affirmed the Kingdom's aspiration to enhance bilateral cooperation in various fields, commending the role of the Indian community in Bahrain and their important contributions to the development march of the Kingdom. He wished the Republic of India and its friendly people further progress and prosperity. For his part, the Indian minister expressed the condolences of the Indian government on the demise of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, hailing his efforts and contributions that bolstered bilateral relations and cooperation. He highlighted the late prince's efforts at the local, regional and international levels. He underscored the depth of Bahraini-Indian relations and their continuous development at all levels. He also lauded the kingdom's honorable stances and efforts in maintaining regional security, stability and prosperity, as well as promoting world peace. He also expressed thanks and appreciation of the Indian government for the Bahraini government's care and support of the Indian community in Bahrain, which reflects the depth of bilateral relations. He also highlighted the efforts of the Kingdom in maintaining the safety and health of Indian workers during the spread of the coronavirus. The meeting was attended by the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs under Secretary Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs under Secretary for International Affairs Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs under Secretary Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of Bahrain to India Abdul Rahman Al Gaoud, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Director of Afro-Asian Affairs, Ambassador Muna Abbas Radi. Also present were the Ambassador of India to Bahrain, Piyush Srivastava, and the visiting ministers accompanying delegation. 
The Bahrain Defense Force continues its participation in the final stages of the joint drill, Saif Al Arab 2020, held in Egypt, with the participation of forces from Saudi Arabia, UAE, Jordan, and Sudan. A number of field exercises, specialized military skills and methods of dealing with hostile targets and dealing with emergency situations were carried out. This advanced stage of the exercise reflected the efficiency and ability of the forces participating in the exercise to carry out the tasks assigned to them with high accuracy, mastery and professionalism.